Hello. What do we mean when we say salary at the last chance saloon? I've got some salary that I started earlier in the year. I always advocate this, I have done for a number of years now. When you get your seed potatoes, when you start chicking your seed potatoes, at the same time and in parallel, start some celery seeds and start some leek seeds. Okay. As the year progresses, you'll plant your potatoes. I'm planting them in buckets and bags. You plant your potatoes and you know that probably in the early summer, middle of the summer months, you're going to be harvesting those potatoes. So that's a few months away from when you've actually put them in the bag or put them in the bucket. Or, for that matter, sown the celery seeds and sown the leek seeds. So a few months down the line, you harvest your potatoes. And what have you got, apart from hopefully a good harvest of potatoes? You've got an empty bucket, you've got an empty bag, and you've got some soil, you've got some compost, and furthermore, you've got a few months of growing left in this growing year. What's to be done? I'll tell you what's to be done. In fact, I'll show you what's to be done. I'll show you what's to be done. Remember, those celery plants have been growing on in parallel with those potatoes. So the celery plants now are three, four months old. They need to be moved up, don't they? Okay, so watch this video. It's a compilation video. Um, I've done this a number of times. I've made it work and you do get two crops from one bucket, same soil, same growing year. It works. I know. I've done it. I'll show you the beginning of the uh, procedure with me moving the celery up into buckets after um, there's been an harvest and then when we get to the end of the video I'll bring you right up to date I'll show you the progress the celery has made We needed to do that a few weeks ago because we had harvested potatoes, we had a bucket, we had some soil and the celery plants really needed to be moved up if they were going to stand any chance of making uh, a big celery plant. We were halfway through the growing season then and soon enough autumn will come round the days will get shorter, the days will get colder, and there'll be no growing left. Um, and so if these don't um, take this last opportunity at the last chance saloon, then they won't make anything. Okay, enjoy the video. Today, we're going to be transplanting some celery. We're going to be moving it up from yoghurt pots into this 10 inch X cut flower water bucket. I've got four stations prepared so we're going to plant four heads of celery in this small water bucket. So what we're going to do, right, four stations four celery. I've got six but I know I can only really get four in one of these buckets. In fact four is probably too much but that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take out a yoghurt pot from the 10 inch water bucket and hopefully leave a planting hole that one of these plants will drop straight into. But before I drop it in, just to give it an extra kick, I'm going to drizzle some blood fish and bone into the bottom of that wall. Okay. Right, let's do this. First one out. 
The celery, incidentally, grown from seed. It's the only way to do it, unless you're going to buy some celery plants. Whatever you do, don't think you're going to grow celery from shop-bought celery by chopping the bottom off and sticking it in a glass of water. You might have some fun, but you won't get much celery. And if you do, it'll be skinny, hardly chewable stalks of celery that you certainly wouldn't want to buy at the store, at the shop. You just wouldn't. So if you watch any of these regrow videos, bear in mind, you're not going to get anything that looks like what you've just bought from the shop. You're just not. I've done it. Got the t-shirt. Right. Let's hope this just pops out. Yeah, I knew it would. You know I knew it would. <laughs> because I checked it would before I uh, started shooting this video. Okay, so as you can see the roots are just about at the bottom. Um, I know, I'm hoping I can upend this and drop it straight in that hole without this root ball disintegrating. So far so good. Let's go. Here we go. One, two, three, drop. Ha ha ha! Come on! <laughs> I love doing that. I don't know why but I just love doing that. Right, that's one down. Three to go. Craig, if the other three go as well as that one did, I'll be well chuffed. Yep. Hey, don't let me forget to put a drizzle of that blood fish and bone in the bottom of there. Now this this soil that I've got in here, as you saw what I was growing in it, I was trying to grow a potato plant in it. So there are, there's probably potato fertilizer still in this soil. Uh, so these celery are really getting looked after, aren't they? Potato fertilizer plus blood fish and bone and then after that it'll just be water it'll just be water oh yeah now you can tell I'm in a greenhouse now um, but these are not going to be grown in this greenhouse these are going outdoors ready for this one one two three get in there Morton get in there Morton two down let's turn this bucket round Two to go. I, I'm having too much fun. Really I am. I'm having too much fun. I'm getting excited. Don't forget the blood fishing bone. Are you a celery grower by the way? Do you grow celery? Have you tried to grow it from from store-bought celery? Have you, have you given that a go? One thing that always amuses me when I watch those videos, because I've given it a go myself, you'll see the video. One thing that always amuses me is this stuff is going to take four, five, six months to grow. And invariably, on the regrow videos, we're in somebody's kitchen. It's a lovely kitchen, beautiful. They've just brought the celery from the store, so they haven't actually grown it. Get in. They haven't actually grown that celery, they've bought it, so they haven't done any gardening yet. And then they get the big knife out and chop the bottom off and put it in some water and a couple of cocktail sticks and two weeks later they've got some roots, they've got some shoots, they're growing celery. Well, I think they are. But when I did it, I actually done that then, planted the celery up in a bucket and grew it outdoors. And I grew it for months and months and I've got to tell you, it grew as tall as me. But it, it, it wasn't a bunch of celery growing there. It was like a... A celery bush, it was like a small tree. It really was. Um, did I put any blood fish and bone in there? I can't remember. I'll find out when I watch the video. But if I didn't, it's too late now. Too busy talking. Um, and yeah, so this, this celery plant grew as tall as me. And to be honest, if you like celery leaves, it's worth doing. If you like sticks of celery, pointless, doesn't work. Watch the video. Um, and yeah, and what always uh, amuses me about this is the people who do grow this stuff indoors and grow it from shop board, if it's going to take six months to grow, are they going to have that on their windowsill indoors for six months? Next to the carrots, next to this, next to that, next to the other. 
Hey, how about that? How about that? Four heads of celery. Get in there, Morton. Right, we'll just give them a little water. Then they're going outdoors. And hopefully you'll see these again over the growing year. And you'll see me harvest them. These are the four heads of celery. Big fine plants growing in a small 10 inch water bucket and they're likely to get bigger. They will be root bound by now. That bucket will be chock a block with roots. And these plants need watered daily. There are enough nutrients in the soil for the four plants. But I have to water them daily. It's not an issue, I'm just telling you that. Because if you grow anything this big in a container this small, it will be looking for water constantly. So you need to water them constantly. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this update. This is Homegrown Veg, signing out.